G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. I've been making a few chopping boards out of some offcuts I have just for the, the workshop kitchen here and I want to put a little chamfer around the whole edge. These little combination trimmer bits will let me do that chamfer in a uh, couple of different angles if I want but they also let you push that chamfer in a little bit to create a chamfer with a little ledge. It'll be an interesting effect, I'm going to see if it, see if it looks good. These combo trimmer bits have a straight blade as well as that beveled blade at the top and that allows you to create a variety of different shapes in the, with the router. They don't have a bearing on them though, so you will need to use a guide or use them in a table. Uh, I've just thrown a guide on my little quarter inch router trimmer and uh, we'll give it a shot. The uh, first cut I'm going to do is just a standard chamfer. You could easily do this with a chamfer bit which had a bearing, but for the sake of showing what this can do, I'll give that a shot first. That's created a really clean uh, 45 degree edge on my chopping board here. The next cut I'm going to try with this little combination trimmer bit is still with a 45 degree bit but it's going to be a straight cut down and then a 45 degree bevel out because I've exposed that bit a little bit further into the timber. So it's created quite an interesting feature, which as I said, first steps down and then bevels out. I think it's a nice effect, which should look good in a board like this. The last cut I'm gonna try is actually using the router on the opposite axis, on the, still on the face of the board. And this is gonna create from the top a 45 degree bevel with the ledge that's horizontal, which is kind of the opposite of what I did just before. I think that actually looks really nice. That's my favorite. And that's the advantage of these bits is it actually gives you so many options to try. And if you push the bit deeper, either up and down, or move the guide so that it went further into the timber, you could even get different effects. So these are called a trimmer bit. So they can definitely be used for trimming veneer or uh, other kinds of laminates in the way that you would use a standard trimming bit but they just give you the ability to do a whole bunch of other things and I wanted to show you some of that versatility with these edges that we've created. Torcata combination trimmer bits can be bought at Timbercon, either online at timbercon.com.au or in any of their stores in Perth and Melbourne.